three before we move on to other tea attributes. So feel free to continue with it with your lunch. Um, but I thought it might be useful um, if we talk a bit about the, the current funding call. Um, so what is that left? Well, that left stands for Amate Teaching Learning Enhancement Fund. We've had uh, two rounds of uh, funding. Uh, I think the first round was in October 2013, and then we had another round uh, about 12 months ago. And so this is the, the third round of funding. It's aimed at very much trying to sort of uh, encourage, I suppose, innovations in, in learning and teaching, uh, encouraging collaboration, Encouraging as well maybe scholarship and, and, and pedagogic research. We've, we've already funded about 18 projects uh, to date, um, and they've been, we've had uh, obviously a range of reports, we've had presentations, there's actually been quite a lot of notice uh, nationally as well. So I know that some of the projects have had an impact that goes uh, far beyond Aberté. And we had a conference uh, in October 2014 which I think I'm right saying is the largest learning and teaching conference that Aberté has ever hosted, about 150 people. And we'll be running another one of those conferences in October 2016. Um, so in terms of the funding, um, it's about £3,000 uh, per project. Um, I'll give you more details about what, what that cost does and doesn't cover in a minute. Uh, the funding is a combination of, uh, from Aberté, but we also do receive a contribution from the uh, QAA Scotland and the enhancement themes. The current uh, enhancement theme is student transitions, and we felt as well that there was this actually, there was a lot of chimes with priorities in Aberté. So we made the call for this uh, ATLEF is around student transitions as well. And we're taking a very broad interpretation of what we mean by student transitions. It could be transition into higher education, it could be transitions through their studies, or it could be indeed transition beyond the undergraduate degree. So that might be to go on to further study or employment. In terms of future calls, we're expecting probably another call uh, in October. And uh, I'm anticipating that the focus of that call will be around technology enhanced learning. And then we'll probably have another call, I hope, in early 2016, which I hope will be sort of very much a sort of student led component to, to Atlet. And that sort of leads me on quite neatly to some principles. So these are some principles behind uh, the funding scheme. As I say, we're trying to encourage collaboration. Um, it's very much around supporting implementation of the teaching learning enhancement strategy, but specifically, as I know many of you don't even mind, maybe we're in the middle of a curriculum reform. One of the features, I think, the first set of projects was this notion of, of student engagement. And when I talk about <coughs> student engagement, it's the idea for students not only to be seen as, say, the subject of research, but actually to get them actively involved in research. Um, I think that's something we feel very strongly about. And I'll give a, a case study in a minute um, of how that panned out in, in practice. Uh, and I suppose the other thing I should say is that if you are students or researchers in that left, it is peer verifiable, so that's a good point. It is very much an open call to staff and students. So everyone in the university, whether academic staff or staff from support services, are welcome to put in a bid. Um, I would, of course, welcome applications from people who haven't received an ATLEF uh, project funding in date, but that doesn't in any way preclude you if you've already been successful uh, beforehand. Um, so this is just, I don't think Siobhan is not in the audience, is she? No. Okay, so I'll just do Siobhan the slide as well. This is a, a case study of one of the ATLEF projects we funded in the first round. And it was a collaborative project from Siobhan McAndrew uh, in psychology and my colleagues in the technology enhanced learning support team. And it was trying to get a better understanding of uh, students' use and aspirations for learning technology. Um, so this is really just, just to see here. This is just give you a flavor. And I suppose one of the innovative uh, aspects of this was actually to engage students as the researchers. 
So the students were working with Siobhan and, and Carol and, and Alison, co colleagues in the um, Pell's team, to design questions that they might ask students to run the focus group, to actually to design, implement, and report on uh, primary research, but in learning and teaching rather than necessarily in their subject area. And quite interestingly, the students that they chose as researchers were from a, across the university. So it wasn't just, say, our students in psychology, but the students from computer games, we had master's students, we had undergraduate students, so it engaged a wide range of students in this project. And I think they learned a lot. Um, there, this is my reader. Now, unfortunately, the, tech, the irony. Technology is not what we play the key for. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll put this up online and uh, hopefully that will work. Let me just get the screen to share for you. So this is the Mindy Wiki. Um, we looked at about 2,000 candidates for projects. Um, what will we cover, we will not cover. Uh, this, this is not school economic clustering, so it can't cover staff time, but it can cover uh, research assistant time. So for example, research students. It can cover things like, what have we funded in the past? Things like software uh, licenses. It can cover sort of staff development, whether it's hospitality or travel. Uh, we were very much encouraging these projects to be external focused as well. So they're to support developments in Abate, but we want people to move externally. Um, I'm going to hand over to Simon in one minute to talk about uh, okay. the customs process. Uh, the call is live now. Uh, deadline is the 19th of June. We will then feed back to people as soon as we can. Uh, it will have to be before graduation because then I'm off on holiday. Uh, and the idea is that we are going to be starting in August and they are to be run in one academic year. And of course we would encourage dissemination as widely as possible. But as I say, we are planning in another one of these uh, Abate Enhancement Conferences in autumn 2016. So there is an expectation that funded projects will present at that conference. Simon, do you want to yeah. walk us a little bit more? Yeah. I think we're on, on Q&A. So in, any sort of questions, I mean, I've said there's general inquiries uh, to the TL enhancement mailbox, but again, I'm very happy to answer any inquiries. I've had a number of inquiries already. I'm sure Simon would be more than happy to answer any inquiries you might have in terms of developing uh, budgets for proposals. But 
Does anyone got any questions or suggestions they'd like to raise? widely in teaching learning that pertain. I recognise that this call being when it is, the reality is that the bids that we're going to get in are going to be staff led, but they will hopefully in, <coughs> encourage students in participation in the research as they not just focus the research. But so what I would like to do though is have a future call that actually we're looking at student led projects and I need to work closely with and Bill to get a better idea as to what that would entail and how it would look. But I had it in my mind that if we had the call, say, in January time, then these could be like summer projects that are the week from to March and September. We, we can talk about it then, but I want to make sure that the timing is right, that there is a and we can actually, as I say, work with colleagues and the students say so to sort of develop what the, what the scope is what the format is and how students would be supported. Again, I think it's important to say, although my vision is that if there are student-led projects, they would still be mentored and supported by a staff member. It's just that the ideas would come from the students. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments?